So in this video, I'm going to be installing Nobara Linux in a laptop computer. This is the Nobara website, and there's a lot of information here that you can read about. So the Nobara project is simply, it's a modified version of Fedora Linux. So I'm going to click on download Nobara. It's on the download section. So the latest version is Nobara 39, and they offer three versions which you can download. There's Official, there's GNOME, and there's KDE. So this is the current release. There's also the ISO you can download for NVIDIA support. Now it gives you a warning here. Please be aware, only the latest NVIDIA driver is supported, and all the NVIDIA hardware that is not compatible with the current driver is not supported on Nobara and you can click here for supported hardware. So if you have Nvidia in your computer you can download any one of these ISO files. So the laptop that I'm going to install Nobara in has an Intel video graphics card. So I'm going to download the first option the official version. I'll click on download. The I agree. So the size of the ISO file for the official version is 3.5 gigs. So the software that I'm going to use to create the bootable USB drive is Etcher. This is the Etcher website and I'm going to download Etcher for Windows. I'll click on download and it's downloading. So on my desktop, I have the Etcher file and I have the Nobara ISO file. So I'm going to open Etcher. I'll click flash from file. I'll select the ISO file, click open. Click on select target. Now the size of the USB drive that I'm using is 16 gigs. I'll select the USB drive. Click on select one and click on flash. Click on yes. And this is creating the bootable USB drive. Okay, so the USB drive was created. And now I'm going to take the USB drive and boot up the laptop computer. So I disable secure boot in this laptop. So I'm going to click on the USB drive to boot up from. Okay, so there are three options, start Nobara, test this media and start Nobara or troubleshooting. So I'm going to select the first option, start Nobara. So this is the installer menu and the first page is welcome. So here you have to choose your language. There's a drop down tab here and you can choose whatever language you would like. I'm going to leave it as American English. Click next. So this is the location. I'm in New York. So the region is America. The zone is New York. If you need to change that, you just have to click on the drop down tab and you can choose the region here and you can choose the zone here. You can also move this red dot to change your location. So I'm going to click next. So this is the keyboard layout. There's a drop down tab and you can select your keyboard model. I'll leave it as generic 105 key. And here you can choose the language. So I'm going to leave it at English and default. You can also type here to test your keyboard. I'll click next. So here is where you have to select your storage device. So if you have more than one hard drive in your computer, it will show up here and you can select it. So there's only one hard drive in this laptop. So these are some of the options. So this option says install alongside. So if you have another operating system in your computer, it could be either Linux or Windows, you can select this option. So in this option, replace a partition. So if you have an existing partition that you would like to replace with Nobara, you can select this option. So this is erase disk. So this option is to erase the entire disk and install Nobara. And this is the manual partitioning. You can create, you can resize partitions. So I want to erase the entire disk. I'm going to select this option. If you want to encrypt your system here, you can select encrypt. So it shows you the current and the after. This is how it will look after. So I'm going to click next. So this is the users section and here you can type in a name, you can create a username and also input a password. So I'm going to type a name, I'll type John. It says what name do you want to use to log into? I'm going to leave it as John. What is the name of the computer? I'm going to type Lenovo. So here you have to choose a password to keep your account safe. I'm going to type a short password. And there are two options here, login automatically without asking for password and use the same password for the administrator account. So I'm going to unselect the first option. I do not want to log in automatically. I'm going to click next. 
So this is an overview of what will happen once you start the install procedure. It's a summary of all the settings. So I'm going to click on install. Okay, so it's completed. It's all done. I'm going to check this box, restart now, click done. And the computer is restarting. Okay, so I get the login screen. I'm going to log in. So I get a message here that they have detected that this is a new Nobara installation. And before moving on, it is required that you perform a system update. Would you like to do this now? I'm going to select yes, click accept, type the password. So it's doing a system update. And here it says multimedia codec packages are missing or not installed properly. These packages are needed for video playback. Would you like to fix this? I'm going to select yes. So it says Flatpak has been detected. Would you like to update all Flatpaks on your system? I'm going to select yes. Okay, so I have to reboot. I'm going to click yes. Okay, so this is a welcome page. Now you can deselect this, show on startup. So each time we reboot the computer, this welcome page would not show up. So you can go through this menu. It says welcome. These are the first steps. Update my system. Install NVIDIA drivers. You can launch this if you have an NVIDIA card. You can install more apps from the software center. And this is install web apps. So this is recommended additions. You can install Blender, OBS Studio, Discord, optional steps. So you can install any one of these. This is look and feel. So it says choose a login manager. I'll click launch. So right now the login manager is the SDDM. This is a simple display manager. You can choose light DM or GDM, the GNOME display manager. I'm going to leave it as SDDM. This is the troubleshoot issues. If you want to join the community, you can join by Discord or Reddit it says contribute. And this is credit. So I'm going to close this. So the Steam app is automatically installed. So on the taskbar here, this is the application launcher. There's favorites, there's all applications. These are lists of the applications. So LibreOffice is also installed. There's the package manager. There's the NVIDIA wizard. Here's Ocula. So this is development. This is education. This is games. This is graphics. This is the internet, so there's Chromium web browser. So Firefox is not installed. This is multimedia. This is the office, which is LibreOffice. This is settings. So this is system. This is the utilities. This is lost and found. This is the help menu. This is places. And you have sleep, hibernate, restart, shutdown. So this is the system settings. So there's mouse settings. You can configure touchpad, screen edges. The pointer settings, I'll click on keyboard. So you can configure the keyboard layout here also. There's virtual keyboard. So this is the touchscreen settings. 
this is multimedia this is game controller I don't have any game controller connected to this laptop this is drawing tablet so this is sound and you can configure your sound settings here this is display and monitor you can configure multiple monitors you can change your resolution here and also the scale I'll click on accessibility here you can configure custom sounds visible bell and you can also change the color and the duration this is modifier keys keyboard filters mouse navigation so there's also a screen reader feature you can configure your bluetooth here this is this and cameras you can add a digital camera here this is Thunderbolt. If you have a Thunderbolt connection in your laptop or desktop, you can configure it here. KDE Connect. So this is color management. This is printers and you can add printers here. So there's Wi-Fi and networking. So right now this laptop computer is connected to the internet by Ethernet cable. You can also configure wireless. So this is colors and teams. This is nightlight settings, there's application style. There's windows decorations, icons. So this is cursors. And you can select what type of cursor you would like. There's system sounds. This is splash screen. And this is the login screen. This is the text and fonts. So you can configure what type of font, font style and size of the font here. This is the font management. This is the wallpaper. I'm going to select this one, pick apply. So this is the default application settings. So you can configure whatever default web browser you have. Right now, the only web browser that was installed was Chromium. This is the email client setting. This is the image viewer, music player. This is the video player, text editor, PDF viewer. This is the utilities file manager. This is the archive manager. I click on file associations. So there are a lot of settings if you like to configure. Yes, font, image, nodes. You can configure your notification settings here. This is Windows management. And on Windows behavior, this is focus, title bar actions, this is window actions, there's movement, and there's advance. This is task switcher, this is desktop effects, you can configure mouse click animation, there's magnifier, zoom, on the appearance there's background contrast, blur, so you have all these settings. This is the virtual desktop configuration, this is general behavior. So under security and privacy, there's screen locking, application permissions, KDE wallet. This is the language and time. There's region and language settings here. You can modify the language here. This is the spell check settings. This is date and time. There's energy saving. So you can configure the sleep settings here. This is users. There's only one user here and you can add a user and also you can configure that user to be an administrator or standard user. This is sessions and this is the background services, system settings. These are the startup services. All this is running. This is not running. You can stop it. So this is the software center.
So here you can install softwares. For example, I'm going to install Firefox. I'm going to click install. And it's installing. I can also search for apps here. I'll click launch. And Firefox was installed. So here are a list of applications that you can install. You just have to click on install. And there are over 3,083 items. There's accessibility, accessories. So there's a whole list including education, a lot of educational apps. You can install games. So this is graphics. There's Blender, you can install that. File sharing, mail, web browsers. Yes, Google Chrome. I'm going to install it. There's also Microsoft Edge. You can install it. This is the Tor browser. So there's multimedia. Yeah, 356 items here. Audio and video editors, audio players, CD and DVD, video players. This is science and engineering. And it goes by categories, astronomy, biology, chemistry, computer science and robotics. Electronics. There's engineering, geography, geology. There's mathematics. And there's physics. This is the plasma add-ons. I'll click on installed. So these are a list of all the installed apps. 441 items. This is the settings. And you can check and uncheck any one of these. So this is the file manager folder. So on the lower right side, this is the updates notifier. So there are some updates here. This is a speaker icon to adjust sound settings. This is Bluetooth. You can adjust the brightness. So this is a network icon. I'll show hidden icons. This is the clock. So I'll right click the desktop and I can select configure desktop on wallpaper here. I can configure display settings. I can create a new folder. I'll right click the folder. And I have all these options. I can change ownership of the folder. I'll open terminal. So I'll right click the desktop again. Click on enter edit mode. So I can add widgets here. So Google Chrome was installed. It's here. So in this video I install Nobara in a laptop computer. So I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing.